That is the house of Philippine history, home to the Aguinaldo Shrine or the Museum of President Emilio Aguinaldo in Kawit, Cavite, the Philippines. A very important date in the history of the Philippines, June 12, 1898, the place Kawit, Cavite, the proclamation of Philippine independence from over 300 years of Spanish colonial rule. Historical records say that the ceremony took place between 4 and 5 o'clock in the afternoon Philippine time of June 12, 1898. From this house, from one of its windows, the Declaration of Philippine Independence was read. Later in 1900s, Aguinaldo had the window expanded to include a balcony. Meanwhile, the Declaration of Independence, written in Spanish, was read by its author Ambrosio Rianzares Bautista. A native of the province of Laguna, he was also an active revolutionary. The Philippine flag was officially displayed in public while the Philippine national anthem was being played. The historic occasion also marked the official public display of the Philippine flag. Before June 12, the flag was first flown in the Battle of Alapan, Imus Cavite, on May 28, 1898. Some facts about the Philippine national anthem Professor Julian Felipe composed the music. In less than a week, the work was completed. During the proclamation, the marching band of San Francisco de Malabon, now General Trias, played the national anthem. A year later, lyrics were adapted from the Spanish poem Filipinas, written by Jose Palma. About the president of the First Philippine Republic, Emilio Aguinaldo E. Fami was born in this ancestral house on March 22, 1869. Aguinaldo donated his home to the Philippine government to keep the spirit of the Philippine Revolution that helped end the Spanish colonial rule of over 300 years. Fortunately, before the COVID-19 pandemic that began, in 2020, my family and I visited the Aguinaldo Museum in Cavite, and it was a great learning experience for us, especially for someone like Marie, who was born and raised outside the Philippines. Hi guys, I'm Marie Francisco, and right now we are at Cavite. We're visiting the ancestral home of General Aguinaldo. So let's see what his home has to offer to the history of the Philippines. The museum is found on the ground floor. Get to know the president of the First Philippine Republic and the events leading to the proclamation of Philippine independence. On the second floor are the different rooms, pieces of furniture during Aguinaldo's time, wood carvings that showcase the Filipinos' artistic talents, and photographs many of which you'll be seeing for the first time. In the middle of the garden behind the house is the final resting place of President Emilio Aguinaldo. On February 6, 1964, in the Veterans Memorial Hospital in Quezon City, President Aguinaldo passed away. Happy greetings to everyone celebrating the 123rd anniversary of Philippine independence. In the Netherlands, Marilu Francisco, we live in interesting times.